Japanese anti-nuclear organization has marked the 55th anniversary of its founding. The members have renewed their determination to work for the abolition of nuclear weapons. A Japanese anti-nuclear organization has marked the 55th anniversary of its founding. The members have renewed their determination to work for the abolition of nuclear weapons. The Japan Confederation of A and H Bomb Sufferers Organizations met in Tokyo on Tuesday. The average age of the survivors is over 77. About 130 of them began the meeting by praying for the 210,000 victims of the U.S. atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. Second and third generation descendants of survivors also took part in the meeting. Genki Isabe, who is 31, spent 10 years making a documentary about his late grandfather's campaign to seek recognition for sufferers from radiation-induced illnesses. The documentary will be shown at a film festival in Tokyo next month. But Isabe's grandfather died last year. My grandfather and his friends have taken action against nuclear weapons. I hope the film conveys their fighting and messages. The group adopted a communique which stated that it will continue to inform people about nuclear disarmament and how nuclear weapons created hellish experiences in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All I know is this violates every canon of respectable broadcasting. Japan's semi-governmental energy body and a U.S. company have signed a deal to conduct a test for methane hydrate in the U.S. state of Alaska. Methane hydrate is a type of natural gas formed from methane and water. Japan Oil, Gas and Metals National Corporation made an agreement with ConocoPhillips to carry out testing in northern Alaska from next January. The two entities plan to dig a well 1,000 meters deep to study how much gas can be extracted. A considerable amount of methane hydrate reserves have also been identified in seabeds off Japan's coast. Japan is hoping that the experiment with the U.S. firm will help it to find ways to efficiently extract these gas molecules and put the fuel to practical use. Methane explosion on mega disasters. Methane, the simplest of all hydrocarbons, is the main component of natural gas. It is both a resource and a hazard. Dissolved in water, it will not burn. But when it is released into the air, any spark can make it explode. Dr. Gregory Riskin is a professor of chemical engineering at Northwestern University. He has developed a controversial theory that says the oceans can and have produced methane eruptions on a global scale. It has happened periodically over the last half billion years without fail. So there is no question in my mind that it will happen again. Methane, says Riskin, was responsible for the Permian mass extinction, the largest mass extinction of all time. Up to 95% of all species disappeared from the face of the Earth. Professor Riskin believes the extinction was the product of a giant methane eruption and its incredible explosive force. The amount of energy which would be released in the combustion and explosion of the methane in a large eruption would be about 10,000 times greater than the total nuclear stockpile which is available at this moment. 